Hi there, my name is Chris, and I am a workshop foreman for a fleet company. In our company, we use Anata Dynamics IDMS, a powerful management solution, which is built as an add-on to Microsoft Dynamics AX and is specifically designed to support the automotive, equipment, rental, and fleet industries. Anata Dynamics IDMS is used to cover industry-specific needs throughout the entire life cycle of a product all within one solution. Before we look at the functionality of Anata Dynamics IDMS, I want to show you my Roll Center. I use the Roll Center as my dashboard, as this gives me access to the parts of the system that I need to as part of my day-to-day -day work. The queues at the top of the Roll Center give me direct access to the forms that show me what is happening in my part of the business. As an example, I can see the number of active maintenance plans and also the planned orders. Just besides the queues, the key performance indicators display real-time information relating to performance of my department. The reports also help me track what's happening in my business. Right at the bottom of the role center, the alerts section highlights the most urgent tasks that I need to act on immediately. Let's take a look at how the maintenance plan works on Anata Dynamics IDMS. Maintenance plans are used to ensure that your vehicles, equipment, or any other type of device are maintained correctly against the schedule recommended by the manufacturer. The manufacturer may also insist on the scheduled maintenance being up to date before they pay a warranty claim. Having vehicles or equipment properly maintained also means that they are operating at the most efficient levels. From the device table, which is where we hold all information relating to vehicles or equipment in my fleet, I can view the details of an existing maintenance plan or create a new maintenance plan for a single or multiple devices. There is some base information available on a maintenance plan that has already been set up. The maintenance group helps us to differentiate between the different types of vehicles or equipment in our fleet. In this example, I am using the brand of the vehicle. This base information also helps me to produce reports on the costs of maintenance across groups of devices. The case group selection is where we control these costs and how they are accounted for. The notification method enables the driver or operator to be informed when their device needs servicing. The manufacturer will lay down the rules for how frequently the device will need servicing. Through the Recurrence section, I can ensure that we stick to these rules. Whether the recurrence is usage-based, miles, kilometers, hours, or time-based, weeks, months, years, this information is entered here. This also handles the situation where a manufacturer might say that a device should be serviced at 15,000 kilometers or annually, or whichever comes first. When the device comes in for servicing, it is important that the mechanic knows exactly what needs to be done in relation to this service interval. The first year service example shows that there are three tasks that need to be done, and in carrying out these tasks, an oil filter and oil will be consumed. I can identify multiple job lists against a maintenance plan and all that have been identified on the plan will be available automatically on the workshop case. Once the maintenance plans have been set up for the devices in the fleet, we need to identify which need servicing at a particular point in time. On a regular basis, maybe every month, we ask the system to identify those devices that need to be serviced in the following month. For example, at the beginning of June, we identify those devices that need servicing in July. This ensures that there is enough time to contact the operator or driver and set a date for the service work to be carried out. As long as the usage on the device has been recorded, the system will know which devices are due for servicing. Based on time or usage, planned orders will be identified by the system. At this stage, the status of these orders is planned. This is another of the status settings that allows me to track the processes in my department. This means that a workshop case has not been created yet. We then contact the operator driver to agree certain things before we then process the planned order. 
The information associated with the case will come directly from the base information that I showed earlier on the setup screen for the maintenance plan. As part of our process, we identify the person in charge of the workshop case once it has been created. Once we have spoken to the operator or driver, we are then able to book a date and time for when the service work will be carried out. Once these details have been entered, we confirm the planned order. During the course of the day, we work through all of the planned orders and we change the planned order status to confirmed when we have managed to speak to the driver. The system will take all of those planned orders that have a status of confirmed and from these will create workshop cases. The workshop cases will then be visible both in the case list page and directly against the device. Each of these workshop cases will have a status of created. And this is how we use Anata Dynamics IDMS to cover our fleet management needs. You can now take a look at how other companies are using IDMS by checking the next videos. Thanks for watching.